So for this next video, there's actually not much to show. It's more of just me uh, talking about things, but I just wanted to summarize the steps that we've done already. So we took our initial $100, and again, if we go into our um, Phantom Wallet, we'll see where we're kind of at at this point as far as tokens. So we do have some Star Atlas tokens, about 10,000 of those. We do have a fraction of a Solana token, and we do have some USDC and our POLIS. So again, the Star, in the context of what I've explained in this video series, the Star Atlas token is both used to purchase things on the Star Atlas marketplace. You can earn it by putting your ships and uh, enlisting in the faction fleet. Solana is used pretty much for every transaction that you have to do, um, pretty much any time the interact with the blockchain. And in this case, USDC was our original kind of funding for how much money we wanted to put into the game. Uh, you can use the swap command to um, move between those different currents or tokens. You want. So we started with $100. Um, again, we have left over an allocate, or I guess not into physical or assets, I guess nothing's physical, they're all virtual, but $30. And for that, we basically can go to our inventory. And at the present time, we'll see that we have uh, not as much uh, fuel and ammo that we started purchasing because they've been doing some things, but we have some of that. We have ships. Now we only see our one here because the other one is staked in the faction fleet, so it doesn't show up. And the same thing if we go to the structures, we don't see our uh, claim stake because it's in the faction claim. So what does all this mean going forward? Well, now you can start doing other things within the game, which I'll go to in future videos. But I wanted to bring up the concept that you started with $100, still have, in a sense, not into something, $30. But you'll probably want or desire to put more into the game to do more. So I'm suggesting, just throwing out a number, $20 a month that you can do more things with. And so what I wanted to basically uh, mentioned in this video is, well, what could you do with $20 a month that you could put into the game? Well, uh, if you keep doing things in different parts of the game, you might actually use up some of your Solana token um, for those transaction fees. Again, each time you have to do something in the game, it has to be recorded on the blockchain. So you may actually purchase more uh, Solana. So again, imagine, uh, let's just say the next month, we put 20 more dollars and we now have 50. Well, you know, you might buy $10 more with a salon or something like that until this uh, number gets too low for you to do that. So that's one thing you might do. Second thing, you might decide to purchase more ships. You can use that $20 you're putting each month. And as we saw, the uh, uh, Pierce X4 was around $9 at the time of this recording. Could be up. It could be higher or lower depending on when you're watching this video. You could purchase a different type of ship that might look cooler to you or do something different. So that's a potential. The other thing you can do with that extra $20 a month is you can buy more resources. Again, I just went over the four uh, resources that are used for the faction fleet to keep it supplied and that you receive from your faction claim. But there's a whole another set of resources. Uh, resources. Uh, they're called raw materials that you may choose to purchase because it provides something else in another aspect of the Star Atlas game, maybe the Sage Lab star-based web browser game, for example. So again, the $20 a month basically gives you the ability to keep doing things without having to use the game to provide you more resources. And as I mentioned at the beginning, um, this is more about entertainment um, again, that's just one style of gameplay that you can do in that. Other people are trying to maximize their putting something into what they get out. As a blockchain game, these are assets you own. These are resources you can sell for currencies that you could use in other places. So um, there is a chance to basically play to earn. Um, but again, this video series is more talking about the entertainment value and not really focusing on if and when you could make money. The last thing is patience mentioned. So if, for example, if you put that $20 in and you buy another claim stake, that will double the amount of resources you automatically passively get back, which could do more things that way. So again, there um, from this point forward, there are lots of ways you can go from here, but uh, I wanted to bring up the point that basically by getting into a, th a thinking process, you're basically paying or playing on a monthly basis uh, way with putting in money and being patient for time to occur for those different automatic, uh, more passive things of the faction fleet and the faction claims, um, you can extend it. 
If, again, on the other hand, you want to go faster, definitely you can put more money into the game, and that will give you, hopefully, more entertainment value for the different actions and things you want to uh, do in the game. So, hope that kind of helps uh, where I'm kind of coming with the different parts of uh, the payment. And, again, my suggestion is think of it as, like, maybe putting $20 a month into the game in order to do more.